garlic powder, onion powder, original salt-free seasoning, extra virgin olive oil, rosemary, thyme, soy sauce, four garlic cloves, and butter, everyone. My hands has already been washed, so the first thing you want to do, everyone, is make sure your meat is pet dry, okay? So what I'm going to do, everyone, is slice my steaks into cubes, okay? Now what I'm going to do is place my steaks inside of my bowl. Now what I'm about to do everyone is season my steaks. Make sure you season your meat well, everyone. Like I always tell y'all, make sure y'all season y'all meats well so you can be able to taste your seasoning inside your meat. For my extra virgin olive oil, onto my meat, just like so. Now what I'm about to do everyone is head over here towards the stove and start cooking my steak bites. Put my eye on medium high and I'm gonna let my skillet heat up and then I'm going to add my cooking oil. Okay everyone, now I'm going to add my cooking oil. So now that my oil is hot, I'm going to add my steaks. Steaks, y'all. I'm going to let my steak bite cook on each side for three minutes, everyone two to three minutes. And when you put your steak bites in, do not touch it at all, y'all. Just let it cook, okay? And you want to make sure it get a nice little crisp brown on each side. That's how you want it. Y'all, when I tell y'all, it smells so good right now. The aroma in my kitchen. Y'all, <laughs> smells so good. You better know it. Okay, everyone, it has been three minutes. And I don't know how y'all like y'all steaks, but I like my steaks well done, okay? It don't get no better than well done, okay? That's why I love Flamion steaks because they are very tender, y'all. They're not tough at all. Mm, just like that. Beautiful. Look at that, y'all.
nice golden brown. Just like it should look, y'all. Just like that. Nice golden brown, y'all. And I'm going to continue on letting my steak bites cook on this side as well for two to three minutes. If you a type of person that like your steaks medium well, everyone, you will want to cook your steak bites for at least like a minute or two on each side. But I love well done, so that's how I like my meats. Okay, everyone, it has been three minutes. So I'm going to take my steak bites out and place them in my pan over here. Smells good, y'all. Y'all see all that goodness at the bottom of my skillet? That's that goodness, y'all. So I'm gonna add the rest of my steak bites, just like so. going to do everyone is add the rest of my steak bites and then I'm going to add my butter that's why it's called garlic butter steak bites y'all gotta add that butter okay I'm going to add my garlic cloves as well. And then I'm going to add my thyme and my rosemary, y'all. Just like so. And when you add them herbs, them herbs gonna make it do what it do. Trust me. Okay? Them herbs and that garlic going to bring so much flavor to these steak bites, everyone. And then I'm also going to add my parsley as well. And I'm going to continue on letting these cook. And I will be right back. Okay, everyone, so I'm about to take my steak bites. You better know it is. Girl, it's, it's so juicy. My steak is so juicy, y'all. I love me some filet mignon steak, y'all. Don't get no better than a filet mignon steak, y'all. They very juicy, very tender, okay? Y'all, nothing but the best. They very expensive, but they worth it, y'all. Very good. Mm -hmm, right in my mouth. That's how you want them steak bites. Melt right in your mouth, y'all. Mm -hmm. About to finish my food, y'all. And I hope you all enjoy it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoy watching my videos. If it's your first time watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Next time, everyone, I'm out. God bless.